Hello and uh, ciao ciao to everybody. I am very sorry not uh, to be with you uh, at your general congress. Uh, you know that uh, we started our uh, campaign for the European elections, which will take place in May next year, uh, with this, uh, what we call a sort of uh, democratic bet of the green online primary, um, which are proving to be relatively difficult, uh, uh, but also very interesting and, passion and really fascinating. Uh, because the challenge of uh, nominating our candidates for the uh, European uh, um, Commission presidency uh, with online primaries and not with a usual Congress is taking a lot of energy, uh, but uh, is proving to be very original uh, and, uh, of course, very time consuming. But uh, I, I had the chance of meeting with your co spokesperson not so many weeks ago and I must say that I am very pleased to uh, feel uh, that there is a very positive spirit uh, in, uh, in the Turkish Greens that I'm sure uh, will bring some uh, positive result to your next uh, local administrative elections um, which uh, are going to be uh, an important moment for uh, not only for the democracy in Turkey uh, but also for the um, follow-up of what uh, happened in the Gezi Park, which was followed all over the world and certainly by the Greens uh, with great attention. Uh, there are some issues that are common to all environmentalists in uh, 2013, and uh, these are the discussion that you are having very much, and when I came to Turkey I really realized that. The first is certainly the uh, issue of the kind of economic and social development we can have. Now Turkey, uh, exactly as most of the countries of the European Union, can choose and should choose for out the way the path of a sustainable uh, development. And when I mean, when I talk about sustainable, we know what we mean. We mean a uh, development which is ensuring well-being for everybody without touching or without um, consuming too much our natural resources. With, which even in a, such a rich and wonderful country as Turkey are anyway rare. The biggest fight will have to be a cultural one. When I was in Turkey last time, I realized that this idea of big plants, big infrastructure, big um, fossil fuel um, uh, uh, plants and everything is much more fashionable than a lower key, more diffused, more democratic, more long term, as we also said in uh, in uh, in Italia, in Italian, a development which is more, uh, più bello is uh, certainly uh, difficult. I don't know why, but it is uh, uh, very fashionable and very good for a lot of people to think to build big. We have to strenuously and very stubbornly insist that the way to a better life is certainly with renewable energies with less intense use of resources, with less big infrastructure, and with a careful evaluation of the impact on our environment and on our basically everyday life, on everything we do. The um, technology exists, the capacity of development exists, and the possibility of not having for Turkey to go towards the disruptive path that a lot of our economies went through in Europe is really there for you to grasp. This is going certainly to be difficult, but is a very major challenge that your country, which now is not experiences, experiencing the very heavy crisis we in the European Union are experiencing, will have also to show a different path than what uh, everybody else basically followed. Another issue that is common to all Greens is certainly the fight for a better democracy which rejects the idea of new uh, frontiers, new and old frontiers built among people, and uh, that recognizes the equality and the capacity of every person to develop according to his or her will. And of course, the uh, attempt after 10 years in government, uh, which is constant, creeping, uh, going little by little, of your government to try to um, say to uh, people how they should behave, what they should wear, what kind of a life they should choose, is certainly a very bad sign uh, in, for the democracy in, in Turkey, even if 
we are all we are really very very sure and we are very proud as well that Turkish people will certainly not then let themselves to be uh, imposed this kind of uh, autocratic uh, system uh, and the, certainly the uh, demonstrations that happened in the Jazzy Park are a signal that uh, Turkish people are not ready to um, to basically uh, support any kind of imposition that they will receive. Um, it is very true though that uh, even if a lot of uh, places see demonstration reactions in Spain, we had many, in Italy we have it all the time, this does not mean the transformation can come easily. So I really, really hope that uh, your party will be a part of the big change that in Turkey is certainly necessary and also a part of a new green revolution that we need in, in, in Europe that a lot of people because of the economic crisis want to delay and that I really hope that in your country it will be more possible than in other places so that you will show us the way. I wish you really all the best. I, will, I hope to see you very soon and uh, ciao ciao. Have a nice time there.